tired of oppression. It's about time for the people to rise up and say we should decide what's right. They're calling for a modern American revolution. Thousands of people from a multitude of groups occupying Wall Street day in and day out, highlighting what they say are social and economic inequalities. Their message has spread, so too have the demonstrations, to dozens of American cities. And now preparations are underway to occupy Canada in the coming days. So tonight we explore the making of a movement starting off with our Duncan McHugh in Vancouver. Did you see what happened in Boston yesterday? Swept up in a protest without a headquarters, without a leader, Min Reyes is tweeting about a revolution. Did you say no to Black Blocs anarchist? She's pretty new to protesting, but inspired by the Arab Spring, disaffected with democracy in Canada, she's dropping out of college ready to occupy Vancouver. I think humanity should come before profits. Like, I don't want to look back and say, hey, you know, I could have joined the movement and made a difference, but I decided to stay in school. It's week four of the movement known as Occupy Wall Street. Anger toward bank bailouts and corporate greed shows no signs of abating. If you do not immediately impeach will be dispersed, you will be arrested. Demonstrators' demands have never been exactly clear, but that was the idea from the get-go. It was Vancouver's anti-consumerist magazine Adbusters that first called for a people's occupation. This ad, with its rhetorical yet provocative question, went viral. The magazine, famous for attacking corporate culture, now champions what it calls a Robin Hood tax on banks. If Americans blame Canada for all these protests, well now it's coming full circle. Canadian activists are gearing up to carry the torch in Toronto, Victoria, Edmonton, Calgary, Ottawa, and Montreal. Here in Vancouver, activists plan to take over this public space on Saturday. For how long? No one's sure, but some are bringing tents. It's a numbers game! Mind you, the Occupy Vancouver tent will need to be pretty big to accommodate so many different agendas. If you're unhappy with student debt or if you're unhappy with environmental destruction in the name of, or just trying to push people before profits. My taxes are fighting a war right now instead of feeding the homeless. You know, I had a guy sleeping in my bag machine, bought him breakfast this morning, told him to come camp out here because, you know what, it's just as much his fight too. That fight will be non-violent, say folks here, but downtown businesses still smarting from the Stanley Cup riots are taking no chances. And we know it's particularly aimed at big business and corporate greed so those companies know who they are and they'll just need to prepare for that and uh, maybe hire security guards. However, worth noting, the American protests, which keep growing unexpectedly, have also been relatively peaceful. Unexpectedly. Duncan McHugh, CBC News, Vancouver.